Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me. Today I am cooking dinner. It's dinner time and I'm hungry. I've got the wok on. i got to add some oil to it really quick so it doesn't get too hot. Um, I am making, with the smoked chicken that I got for my work, this is what's left of it. I've got, ooh, I got legs and wings left. I just pulled the bones and stuff, the meat off the bone on that. So, I am going to make chicken, broccoli, parmesan uh, over spaghetti. I've got the angel hair in the pot boiling right now. It doesn't take long for that to cook. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some broccoli in this wok. All right, let's get in the lock. Just got to get that cooked. I've got some Texas toast already. I hope y'all can see inside the lock. Get rid of some closer. All right. I just want to get it to fall out. A little bit more. I want to have the same ratio as the beef and chicken. Alright. Let that cook up. Couldn't find the lid to my wok. I don't know where I put it. I don't want any onion or celery or anything like that in it. It's going to be plain. I do want to add some salt and pepper. You all know I love my black pepper. So, I've got some parsley. And some oregano. About a teaspoon. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't put any more nut in there. Alright, by this time my broccoli is ready enough. I'm going to go ahead and add some chicken. I have some Parmesan cheese. I don't normally use this, but it says it's 100% real. So, put some of that in with the chicken. Just stir it around. Put it in on top of the broccoli. I'm going to add some milk. And what that should do is get all gooey and creamy and go really well with the pasta. Might even want to add more milk once I know it's going to work right. It's getting all creamy down this side, see? I hope you can see. Yum. I'm going to bring it all down together. Starts bubbling up together. Mm. 
I didn't bring a spoon over here. Let's see if this will work. Yep. I want to put some butter in there. Land O Lakes. Just give it, keep stirring it so it doesn't get um, stuck to the bottom. I'm going to add some more milk. Don't say, oh no, Tammy, that's too much. Trust me, I have a plan. There's always a plan. And plus, the um, milk will help with the starch in the pasta, which I need to check. Okay, that's doing real well. Now I just need it to start bubbling together. I am going to add some more um, Parmesan. Isn't that nice creamy? Oh, it smells so good. I need to get a spoon to taste it. And I need to check the pasta. But I think before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take, I've got three pieces of provolone cheese. We well, might just be two, that's fine. I'm just going to break it up and put it on top of this while it's getting hot. So it will boil down. Not boil down, melt, melt and get all gooey and yummy. All right. While this is doing this, hold on, guys. I got to go check the pasta. I'll be right back. Flipping the toast, putting it back in, just for a bit, and I know that our pasta's done. Guys, I'm draining the pasta. I know, I know the pasta border will help. But. My colander's off the side. Mm. All right, I'm coming. I'm going to go ahead and take the bread out because it's got to be good enough. Yeah, don't want it to burn. All right, I'm coming. Here's our pasta. Yes, it's still got some water in it. Stuff a stir. Almost let it go too long, guys. Almost, almost.
All right, I'm going to cut this down some more. Oops, I think I went the wrong way. Cut it down to 300. And I'm going to start adding the pasta. Just because this is the way I want to do it. That water's hot. I'm making a big old mess, guys. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get all the broccoli mixed in. All right, let me taste it. It's going to be really hot. You know, you can, if you like mushrooms, you can add mushrooms to this. I don't think I would like, I don't like mushrooms, so I don't, I know I would not want them in mine. This thing. I just want to taste the sauce. Because if the sauce is right. A little cheesy. But it's good. Hold on, I'll dip out a plate. Let it thicken up a little bit while it's sitting in that sauce. This is when I wish I had the lid. I'm sitting out on top of it for now. plate for John Michael too. Right, got a little charred. It would be helpful if I had a fork. 
It looks like the Michael took the forks. this. Look how it came together. Look at that cheesy goodness. Yummy. Yummy. My plate right. Uh-oh. Where can I put the plate? You're going to see me scoop it out. Do it like this. Scoop some chicken and bro bro broccoli. Put it right on the plate. Put some more vegetables. Now that's enough. That looks very good. All right. And that's it. That's as much as I'm making for dinner tonight. I do have a salad in there that I could eat, but I really don't want it. But I'm gonna give this a try. I think it's going to be very tasty and very hot. Where's my spoon? I know it's not a big spaghetti spoon. It's all falling off the fork. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. It's way better than noodles and noodles, I can give you that. Try the broccoli and chicken. I'm a happy girl. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very easy. That's the way I like to cook. That's the way I... I don't want to go to long, drawn-out... Very good. Broccoli, chicken, you can use any chicken, or turkey if you want to do turkey, but frozen broccoli, picked chicken. I use like three thighs and a little tiny bit of a breast. Um, grated cheese is what I use, and two slices of provolone. Um, and you just mix it all together, pour some milk in it, make it thick. Make sure it doesn't burn. And dinner's ready. That's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching again. I appreciate you. I hope I don't bombard you with videos this week. Y'all know I'm off. So I'm just trying to reach out to my friends. I love y'all. Until next time, please subscribe, share, comment, and like. Peace. <laughs>